Bitcoin is an internet-only decentralized currency that is not regulated or governed by any one country. The virtual coin can be used to buy things both online and in brick-and-mortar stores. At the time of this interview, one Bitcoin was worth about 820 U.S. dollars, according to an exchange website. San Diego was the first to have an ATM exchange to exchange Bitcoin for cash, and now more local merchants are accepting it as payment, including my guest, Sean Cole, owner of the downtown Johnny Brown's restaurant. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, Sean, when and why did you start accepting Bitcoin? Well, it's been fairly recently, but we've been contemplating it for a couple months. Uh, my business partner has a coworker who mined Bitcoins early on during the, the evolution of Bitcoins, and really got my business partner fascinated with it and they were suggesting you know that this is being accepted by brick and mortar um, establishments and we should consider it and when we realized that there was a, a population out there that wanted to spend their bitcoins which convert readily into American currency we said why not and so it, it's been about two weeks ago since we accepted our first couple of transactions and how many uh, so far it's been two, I think two or three. Okay. However, we have a, a large group coming in on Thursday, um, a, a Bitcoin meetup group um, to do an informational survey. So I imagine we're going to test the system to the limits on that day. Okay, well, it, there's a map. Coinmap.org has a map that they've actually put out, and it shows the number of businesses throughout the world who accept Bitcoin. As a local business owner, what do you think are some of the advantages of accepting Bitcoin as, as a form of payment? Well, as a restaurant and a, and a pub owner, we want patrons to come in and feel happy that they came in and they were well served. Um, if there is a, a segment of patrons that want to spend Bitcoins, and it makes, makes no difference to us whether we accept it and convert it into U.S. currency, we've made a patron happy, and then we've, you know, we, so we've established our goal, our mission. Um, I think another thing is that it, uh, it's, it's easily to, to convert using the Coinbase software, and there, the, the fees are much less using a Bitcoin um, conversion versus a traditional Visa or MasterCard, um, which is an interesting sideline of all this. Advantage. Wait, walk us through how it works. If someone wants to pay for a meal at your restaurant uh, using uh, Bitcoin, what would, what would happen? Sure. Well, well, a Bitcoin customer is going to know that they have a Bitcoin wallet. Um, and in that wallet is their Bitcoins and they have a registered account. Uh, we have a Bitcoin wallet and we have an account with a, a provider called Coinbase. And there's an application on a smartphone. And when the server completes their service, um, and they indicate they'd like to play in Bitcoin. She takes that Android smartphone and she, she presents a bill for it along with our um, information, which co shows up in the form of a QR code, if you're familiar with the QR mm -hmm. code. The uh, patron then takes their Bitcoin wallet with their application and scans our QR code, and then it, it's transferred automatically. Hopefully they've put a nice tip on for their server. As well, but so uh, it's an electronic transfer exactly. between the phones and the applications between the business and and, and the cell phone holder. Um, just last week, I know uh, Overstock.com became the largest uh, online retail retailer to accept uh, Bitcoin, and um, but you know it's got some flaws. One of the major ones is that it doesn't offer consumer protection. Uh, so if your Bitcoin currency or your wallet is stolen, there's no getting it back. What is your response to that? Well, for my industry, in the restaurant industry, you, you rarely see chargebacks and adjustments once the customer has left the establishment. It, it, it really is very rare. Um, I don't know, they're pretty secure, so it's not. It's hard to steal a Bitcoin and, and the transaction is done using crypt, crypt, encrypted keys uh, from both the consumer and the, and the seller. So it's um, difficult, you think, to, to actually hack it and, and get it. Another it uh, Economists also say that another downside is because it's decentralized and not regulated or mm -hmm. controlled, the value of Bitcoin is volatile. Are you worried that uh, Bitcoin is kind of a trendy bubble that could be worthless uh, in a not a long amount of time? Well, I hope it's not, but if it is, then it'll be what it'll be. However, right now it has value, and when we accept a Bitcoin transaction, the Coinbase software converts it to currency right now based upon the uh, exchange rate that's in effect. So if it does burst and go down to, say, 100 from 800, that would be the exchange. We would still see the revenue from the sale. 
it would be up to the consumer to determine where they want to use that Bitcoin for that price. Um, so we feel safe in that aspect. I mean, if it ever became defunct, we would obviously stop taking it, but I don't see that happening. Honestly, I, I feel very um, optimistic about this. Positive outlook yeah. on that. Well, business owner Sean Cole, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.